A diplomatic row has broken out over a new defence and security partnership between Britain, America and Australia. The deal will deliver nuclear-powered submarines to the Australian Navy to promote stability in the Indo-Pacific region, which has come under increasing pressure from China. Beijing said the pact was extremely irresponsible. Here's our defence correspondent, Jonathan Beale. Britain's making its mark in the Pacific. The Royal Navy's new aircraft carrier has been flying the flag there on exercise with the US and allies. Proof of the increasing importance of the region and the focus for this new defence agreement. So what is the threat? China is the rising power in the region, not just an economic giant, but a military one too. Its armed forces are modernising. It now has the world's largest navy. It staked its claim to oceans, fortifying islands well outside its own territorial waters. This new pact announced in a carefully choreographed appearance by the leaders of Australia, the UK and the US is all about China, even though they didn't mention it by name. We all recognise the imperative of ensuring peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific over the long term. We need to be able to address both the current strategic environment in the region and how it may evolve. As to what is the pact, it starts with sharing the most sensitive of stealth technologies. Britain and America will help Australia build a fleet of new nuclear-powered, though not nuclear-armed, submarines. The House will understand how Australia's future possession of this capability will help to safeguard the peace and security of the Indo-Pacific. So what's the reaction? This week, London's been hosting one of the world's largest arms fairs, where there's fierce competition for lucrative defence contracts. The plan is to build this new fleet of submarines in Australia, but the government here hopes it will boost Britain's defence industry and create jobs. But this wider defence pact has already angered both an ally in France and a powerful rival in the region. France, which had hoped to build the submarines, has called the deal a stab in the back. But China sees it as more of a threat. Cooperation between the United States, the UK and Australia over nuclear submarines has seriously undermined regional peace and stability, intensified the arms race and undermined international nuclear non-proliferation efforts. The US might have led the exit from Afghanistan, but this agreement shows it's not turning its back on China's growing influence in the Pacific. Jonathan Beale, BBC News. Let's talk to our North America editor, John Sopel, who is in Washington. And the French are very unhappy about this. Uh, Sophie, I think this is the law of unintended consequences. The, the, the people who signed this expected China to be angry. They did not expect the seething, furious reaction from the French. Look, there was meant to be this huge gala dinner this weekend to celebrate 240 years of the French assisting the War of Independence for the United States. And a French frigate is moored in uh, Baltimore Harbour. The head of the French Navy has come over. And they have said, we're not going ahead with any of this. That is how angry we are. The French and Americans have fallen out over foreign policy before the invasion of Iraq. But this is a most undiplomatic row. One senior source has suggested to me maybe the French hope they're going to get some kind of reward from the Americans because of this slight. The French had been hoping to sell diesel-powered submarines to the Australians. That sale has fallen through now as a result of this. And as a result, it's the French who've gone nuclear. John Sopel in Washington. Thank you.